y'all. This is India Rose. I'm here in Thompson, Georgia with Diane Wood. She's the owner of Peacock Hill, and she is such a top seller of the Pearl Girls jewelry that I really, Diane, just wanted to pop in, ask you a few questions about the jewelry, about who you're selling to, and maybe you can help prospective stores that are thinking about whether they should carry the Pearl Girls jewelry or not, whether it's a good fit for their customers. So I've been driving along. I just jotted down a couple of notes. The first thing I wanted to know is why are your customers buying the Pearl Girls jewelry? You know what? I want to say I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine. It, Which is fine. Except that once they buy a piece, they come back for more. Yeah. Um, not only for themselves, but for gifts too. But you know, I think a lot of it's because it's small town. We're in the south, and Pearls is Pearls are not only a worldwide thing; they're really a southern thing. Yeah. And all the women will wear them. You know, they'll wear that pearls to the grocery. So I think that's just, they see them, they love them, the price is right. Um, it's something they, even with the economy like it is, they can, they can afford that. It's a luxury that they can afford. Yeah. And it makes them feel good. Okay, great. Uh, thanks. The next thing I was wondering is, so clearly these women have an inherent love for pearls. In terms of the Pearl Girls jewelry or pearls in general, is there sort of some information that you're giving them, some knowledge that they need before making a decision to buy the Pearl Girls jewelry? Well, I don't, I don't have to give them any information for them to purchase it when they are, they sell themselves. But I always tell them everything I know about them that you hand select these, um, you go twice a year probably. Uh, um, to make these purchases, uh, you've got somebody um, you know, that you help design them and then they put them together for you, they mm -hmm. build the construction part. And I uh, also, because I keep a little moisture in here, you know, I tell them what little bit I've learned that they need a little moisture. Mm -hmm. uh, the humidity is good for them. I just tell them everything that I know about them and that no two are identical. Um, and you know, just the, the little things. But you know what, when you have a little bit of information, it makes you enjoy what you just purchased a little bit more too. Yeah, absolutely. And now the demographic of women that are buying these pearls, are they young, are they old, are they, does that matter? It doesn't. It doesn't, it, okay. um, We have teenagers that purchase these. We have women in their 50s that are purchasing them for their granddaughters. Um, we have women in their 70s and 80s that are still purchasing for themselves and for gifts. We have mothers that come in with their sons to help them select pearls for their girlfriends. And of course, people are always buying them for babies. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, let me check my notes. Um, make sure I got, oh, which pieces are there? Any specific pieces that are your top sellers? Let me, well, I have to think, of course, the, um, the studs are always, mm -hmm. um, people are going to pick those up and maybe in a different size if they don't. And I'm trying to think, probably the single strand of pearls. Um, okay. Is just the classic the, necklace. Yeah, just that classic mm -hmm. length is always the next. Then after that, and of the pearl bracelets, the single, after they have a, the single strand, they'll come back and get a double strand okay. of pearls. Then once they get, if they they haven't had any um, authentic cultural pearls, they will start with those pieces. And then they'll come back for the fun pieces. If, um, you know, like this piece. The Samantha um, necklace. Right. I keep or forgetting some of the names I of know. them. There's so many. <laughs> but, and, yeah, they'll, they'll just get all the fun pieces after that. And yeah. they generally, if they're buying for gifts, they tend to get a little fun piece too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because they, um, sometimes people have to almost look at the fun pieces again uh, and again before they convince themselves. But once they do and they get so many compliments, yeah, they're yeah. always ready for another, yeah. another piece. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. I hope that helps y'all maybe just learn a bit more about how Diane is selling the Pearl Girls jewelry and who she's selling it to. Any more questions or anything, feel free to get in touch with us. This is India Rose with the Pearl Girls.